Capricorn. What's poppin'? What's going down in the life of a Capricorn between the first and the fifteenth of February? Are you guys embracing the new new? Embracing this loving, sensual, feminine energy upon us? <laughs> hey, boo head, this is your first time to my channel. Hi, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I do cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can best assist you without cussing. All right? To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. All right? Um, also, to the returning subscribers, hey, family, y'all, we push through. We keep trucking. We keep trucking. We keep trucking. Just know that your work will not go undone or unseen. The heavens have already proclaimed it for you, baby. You just have to believe, all right? So uh, this is not a personal. It is a general. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. Uh, check the community tab. I also have a current uh, Valentine's Day special reading going on until the 13th of February for my two-question, um, two-answer, 15-minute reading. It's $25, you guys. And the theme is... Uh, is you going to be booed up or not, okay, for Valentine's Day. Uh, so you guys definitely get that in. Uh, thank you all for all of my likes, shares, subscribes. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. You guys, please take what resonates with, takes what resonates, leave the rest, you guys. You we you do know it can go any way, either or. I do pick up energies that are now uh, future as well as um, energies that could be yours or your partner's or just your external environment. All right, so it could be your kids, your mom and them, Keisha and them ass, they won't move about your house, you're tired of them, you know, so just take what resonates and definitely leave the rest, all right? So this will be for my sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Capricorn uh, for the month of February, first half, first to the 15th, all right? So for my Cappy babies, let's rock. I'm going to start with your Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels Oracle message, okay? You guys got multifaceted. Titanium Rainbow Quartz. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you're asking about, okay? And also, I do see the overall theme of the reading is love. You guys are in love, okay? Your focus is on family and love. The intuitive messages that I did here for Capricorn while I was actually shuffling the deck and I'm um, just really trying to penetrate your energies within the card, penetrate your energies within the cards, um, was I heard embracing the new. I also heard fearful changes. I also heard life path, closing chapters, as well as ancestors, okay? So some of you all uh, may be having ancestors visit you in your dreams during this time just to send you love and let you know that they are okay on the other side. I definitely felt that energy that someone was possibly um, really, really, like, sad over ancestors. This could be... Um, someone's birthday or something of that nature i did pick up um the letter c came through strongly uh, in the name candace or corinne um sherry this could also be cherry y'all sherry cherry take what resonates um but that that those names came through very 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 strongly c and those were the names that i got but uh, take what resonates, you guys. You may be seeing this person during this time, during your dream, to assist you in the matters that are really, really, really near and dear to you in the subconscious that you guys have really been kind of over-anxious about. All right? So let's see what's going on with my Capricorns and love from the 1st and the 15th of February. Spirit, what can my Capricorns expect in love moving forward? During this time, you got thank you, Spirit. During this time, you guys are in a period where you're having to move forward and embrace the new. Some of you all, I do feel an energy of stagnancy, and I feel like it's more of an internal conflict more so. Some of you guys are going to be coming out of that, and this could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like things are going to be fast moving, or maybe you feel like um, things are moving too fast. 
and it's kind of leaving you internally conflict. This could have to do, uh, and you really, really, really in your damn head. Some of you all really need to go to bed, okay? Take your ass to bed. No person, place, or thing should have your ass up stressing, crying, having them ugly ass bags under your eyes, okay? Because I feel like if this is over a person, I strongly feel like this has to do with love. Either you or the other person is coming out of this internal conflict. I feel like someone was really, really, really in their head. You possibly could have met someone. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fire sign. But there is going to be movement and an offer given. I just feel like someone, I feel the energy of not enough. Like it's not enough. Okay, maybe uh, this is you feeling this way towards someone, Capricorn, or, you know, what someone's giving you during this time. You're looking at it as it's not enough. You know, I feel that you guys are moving away from people who just want to come into your life for sexual for, for sexual uh, purposes. You guys are moving away from, you know, people who want to come in your life and not make damn decisions. They want to have their cake and eat it too. You're just not having it during this time. Some of you guys have a, a decision to make between two lovers during this time. It could be um, having to do with the fire sign and then um, some of y'all could be two fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of fire here or in air okay but for some of you all you're having to walk away from someone and you're really choosing to not make a you're making the decision to not make a decision because i feel like it's just more so you're in your head kind of beating yourself up about it during this time but i feel like a lot of you all it's like you know what you need to do but the action the, the action behind it is just making you feel like it's being Force. That's the energy that I'm feeling, but it definitely has to do with your transformation. For some of you all, you could be walking away from a Scorpio or choose making the decision to walk away from a Scorpio who possibly has commitment issues or someone who just really is in their damn head about everything. But someone is definitely walking away from a situation, Capricorn. This could be you um, or possibly an air sign. Strong, strong emphasis on air. If you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right now, strong emphasis on the Gemini. I feel like, yes, this person is a soulmate, and I do see a reconciliation possibly happening in the future possibly uh four weeks four months from now if you all are separating during this time but i definitely feel uh the energy of someone really 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 again knowing what they need to do but not making the move on it out of fear you know and it has to do with uh comfortable like someone being too comfortable okay but spirit is saying it's time to end that cycle in your life babe because you got somewhere to be for some of you all you it's about going into a twin flame union possibly with the scorpio cancer pisces um or possibly this gemini person but i feel like <clears throat> a lot of y'all are really 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 just overthinking the matter versus actually making the movement capricorn take the time to take deep breaths for some reason i'm feeling the energy of you guys really 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 needing to breathe deeply because i don't even know why i felt the need to just like hurry the hell up girl tell me what the hell is going on like that's the energy that i <laughs> that i feel with you all um some of you all this could be someone in your energy making you feel like you know you have to make a rapid decision some of you all could be closing out cycles um with the sign of scorpio leo aquarius or um taurus again i feel that with that energy it's just Someone is ungrateful. It's not enough. I feel some of you guys are also, yeah. And some of you have new love on the horizon, but you feel literally tied and restricted or feel as if, you know, you, you're chained down to make a decision as far as moving away. Yeah, some of you guys are walking away from possibly a Sagittarius person who, this person just... They have to have more than one, and I feel like it has to do with their own insecurities about being alone. Okay, for some of you all, this is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There is love here, but there needs to be a level of respect here because I definitely feel like someone is either being deceptive or someone is really not opening up and being vulnerable about how they truly feel as far as wanting to walk away from a union because I'm feeling the energy of somebody not wanting to be the bad guy, to be honest. It's like... I know this shit's going to hit the fan. I know shit's going to shake the hell up. I know I got to walk away, but I don't want to be the one to close the door because I don't want to be the one to be seen as the bad guy, okay? Some of you all could be dealing with the sign of Pisces, okay, or Scorpio. And this could be someone who could be the mother or father of your children. I definitely feel like there's a there's a strong, passionate connection that you have with someone. And I definitely feel like there's an energy of new love that's trying to come in. 
Or maybe the cycle is going to be closing during this time because someone is offering their love elsewhere. Your partner's offering their love elsewhere. Someone's coming into a twin flame union and they really don't understand it. This could have to do uh, with the Scorpio and the Aquarius person, Gemini, Sagittarius. But some of you all are walking away from people who make you feel as if you're not, you're not the choice. Okay. If they, if you can't, if I can't be the choice, I'm damn sure not going to be an option, you know. And I definitely feel like this could also have to do with the Leo. But there will be things that are going to be revealed during this time that's going to kind of going to shake shit up and make you uncomfortable. But it's going to force you, force you back against the wall, Capricorn, to make a damn decision. Because ultimately, I feel like spirit has been really on your head anyway about walking away from some shit that just really does not align with your inner being. It doesn't align with you, with you evolving, to be honest. And for some of you all, I feel like you want to offer your love possibly to a Sagittarius person, but they, they're they tied strongly to either um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or in, in an Earth sign or an Air sign. Why is this Moon card here, Spirit? Why is the Moon card here for Capricorn? Yeah. Some of you all are really, really, really wanting to make an offer of love to a Pisces person. Or this person wants to come in and reconcile, especially if you have kids with this person. They want to come in and reconcile with you and make an offer, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them. Maybe in the past you guys have had some words where uh, you could have kind of beat this person up verbally, okay? Or this person could have beat you up ver verbally, but I do see a level of somebody not knowing how to talk to somebody, and it really puts someone in a state like... And during that moment, you may give that person a mask, you know, but behind closed doors, you're going to cry in the car. Somebody going to cry in the car. Somebody crying in the car, Capricorn. Okay. Why is the death card here? Yeah. You need to walk away. Okay. Walk away from someone, possibly a Scorpio. This could be someone who you know has a third party. Is just they, they, They've let you know through their actions that they're going to juggle. They're just a professional fucking juggler. They actually just go work in the circus like the clown that they acting like, but that's none of our business. Anyway, Capricorn, you have new love. This is why spirit is on your head about walking away or someone is walking away from you. I definitely feel someone is walking away to a twin flame union. They don't understand the intensity of the connection. It's a divine partnership. And so it's going to go against, you know, traditional traditional beliefs. It's going to go against um our perspective is how we see love as well as I mean, you know, overall as far as modern day beliefs of you know how or what a what the right relationship should look like you know yeah for some of you all this person who again okay, some of y'all are dealing with the sign of gemini and i feel like this person capricorn during this time you and this person may have a heated argument but this person could have already been making plans to um move away i feel like this person feels as if you know there's no more love here that's the Queen of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Some of you guys are trying to hold on to cycles that should have been over. I mean, honestly, Capricorn, be real with yourself. They over, over. Okay? And you just have to make that make that decision to love you and trust in the Most High, trust in the universe, trust in Mother, trust in Gaia that you're actually manifesting what is supposed to be in your life. That abundance, that unconditional love. Good, bad, or ugly. It's not a love that's forceful. It's not a love that's trying to change who you are, but one that's unconditional. And I feel that for some of you all, you you really in this in this place of of. And I feel like this is more for my Capricorn men, to be honest with you. And I'm strongly going here because I feel like during this time, you guys are really needing to express yourself and be be open and be more optimistic as far as change goes and be more embracing to change and compromise i'm hearing because for some of you all you're really stuck in your damn ways and you not wanting to open up and share your emotions you keeping things to yourself this this, this stillness this you know i feel like it's kind of like a a mental little chess war i mean i don't i mean I, it feels like a, a chess game you know but it's making someone feel like this it's making someone feel as if they're not good enough, as if what they have to offer is not good enough, and it's preventing new love. You need to move away from that particular behavior. Temperance. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Yeah. For some of you all, yeah. 
some of y'all have a Sagittarius. I feel like this person could during this time want to start over because they do love you. However, for some of y'all, this person is a habitual cheater. You know, some of y'all, they're a ho, 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 ho. And you just got to be real with yourself. Is that what you want? Is that what you feel that you deserve? Because Spirit is saying you deserve love. You deserve this, 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 this ace of cups. You deserve this newness. You deserve this whole love. Love that only wants you where you're not an option. For some of you all, it's with an Aquarius person. And for all of you all, you manifested this. Yeah. With the soulmate, possibly with the Leo. Aries. But you're really in your head about what could go wrong versus looking at what could go right during this time. And I really feel that ultimately you're going to get your wish. But it's going to come with you cutting someone out and being truthful. Okay, with yourself. For some of you all, some of y'all are welcoming in new babies. Congratulations. And for some of y'all, these babies that's coming are the catalyst, are the catalytic situations to move you forward. That's the one that's gonna really just break the damn straw. It's gonna the straw on the camel's back. The straw that broke the camel's back so you guys can move forward to this soulmate relationship and away from this third party shit that you've been allowing from someone in your energy. Or them you, Cappies. But I feel like this is more external, to be honest. Yeah. Outcome. <laughs> Your ten of pentacles, baby. You're still going to get what it is that you want, what it is that you've been manifesting. Just don't put a face on it. Don't put a particular expectation on it. Because Spirit is saying with this wild card here, be more optimistic. Let God do God's job. Because the outcome is still what you want. Wholeness, fulfillment, happiness, abundance, prosperity. Okay? Honest communication, straightforward communication. Someone being able to uh, compromise with you, be understanding. Someone being able to truly fulfill your physical, your emotional, your spiritual needs here. But you're going to have to be willing to walk away from just things that no longer serve your energy anymore. That is the blockage and what's holding you back. And that is why you feel so uncomfortable uh, within love and wanting to embrace those new chapters that life is trying to bring into your life, baby. All right, so that's what I have for my Capricorns between the 1st and the 15th of February. I love y'all so much, baby. Thank you so much for all of y'all. Again, your likes, your shares, subscribe, y'all. Y'all love really, really, really keep me going. I be having shit going on. And because I'm able to bring my love to you, because you guys are so appreciative, because you just love me and embrace me so much and allow me to share my gift with you, you guys, thank you. Thank you, family. I truly appreciate it. I don't know how many other people tell y'all because I really don't give a damn. This, you know, y'all my family, you know, but I feel like I love you and I truly, truly commend you all who are standing up for your own self-worth during this time. Because to be honest with you, spirit is opening massive, massive, massive doors, y'all. And we can't be afraid to take that leap forward to step into them. For some of you all, this is having to do with moving. New entrepreneurship building. The architect, baby. Never be afraid to jump off the cliff. Because you never you never want to be your own worst enemy. Allow other people to project their fears on you. Because if you never go, you never know. Remember that. Alright? I love y'all. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. I have a Valentine's Day special going on. Check the community tab. I love y'all. Bye, booze. Namaste.